So this is not a video that I had planned to make this week. It is very abrupt and I just feel like it needs to be shared. And so that is why I'm going to hopefully be able to get through it and share it. It's been a full week since it happened and I have been far too emotional to get on camera and share it with you all, but I really want to because I feel like it could impact somebody who might be going through a similar thing. I, several weeks ago, I had been just going through some, I don't know, some low moments, I guess, just feeling like it wasn't like a faith issue. I still believed in God. None of that changed. And, and it may surprise you if you watch my channel to hear someone like me say this, but even people with really deep faith still struggle sometimes with belief because God is such a big concept that sometimes it is hard to believe. But I was going through a period of just struggling and um, a lot was piling up, you know, people saying unkind things here, even on YouTube and just the world around me in general. It was just, it was just really bringing me down. Um, and so I was struggling and there was this, you know, week or two in my journal entries where you see this theme of no matter what I read, no matter what the context of it, when I get to the prayer portion, I'm just like, Lord, please help me with my unbelief. Like I am really struggling right now. Like I do believe, but please help me with my unbelief. And, and if you don't read your Bible and you don't know where that comes from, um, I'll give you a little bit of a backstory. It comes from Mark nine, um, starting at verse 14 basically and it's it's just it's about this father who comes to the disciples and his child is mute and he seizes up and he is possessed and the the disciples can't cast the demon out and so the father is desperate and he he comes to Jesus and he's like, can you please help me? I've asked your disciples. They can't do it. And Jesus is, he's kind of frustrated. And he's like, how long am I going to have to be with you guys? Like, like what's the deal? And so he goes and he, he ends up casting out this, this demon out of the child. But, um, I just remember the, the father saying to Jesus, he's like, I, I do believe, but help me with my unbelief. And that, can you imagine? I just, I think about the, the desperation as a parent wanting so badly to believe that your child will be well, um, but needing help to believe that that type of miracle can be done. And so I remember the first time I ever read that story and I cried um, because I had really never read my Bible before. And um, that has always stuck with me. And when I get into low points, I, I do ask um, God, I say, please help me with my unbelief. I'm struggling. I'm, I'm, I'm not believing right now. I need you to help me. And so that was a trend for, um, you know, a week or two. And I was just at a low point. And then it got worse because my husband got sick. And um, if you guys, if you don't know anything about us, we have fairly low income. And so if my husband is not actively working, then we are not making money. And, and that's like, he doesn't have a traditional job where he gets paid time off or sick days or anything like that. So if he's not working, we're not making any money in it. And we were, we were okay. We, we weren't going to suffer really. Um, it's just, 
we've had a lot of things that have um, moved us backwards instead of forwards, I guess. And so it was just one more thing that was kind of bringing us backwards. And so he's sick and I'm accepting that for what it is. And we're just praying that I don't get sick and that the kids don't get sick. And um, obviously we've shared that with everyone we know and they're, they're all covering us in prayer. And, and about a week passes, a little less than a week, and I feel like I'm kind of starting to get sick also. And that's when I started getting not upset. I don't know what, I don't know. It's like for lack of better word, upset, disappointed. Um, just this feeling of, I remember, and I even, and I know this is awful, but I, I told my husband, I said, what do we pray for? And I know that that's an awful thing to say, but that's exactly how I felt. I was just like, was already struggling and then we prayed and we prayed and we prayed and then this and then it was like it didn't it didn't matter it didn't work and it was like what's the point and i and i knew that what i was doing was wrong i t i told god i said i'm sorry i realize that in this moment right now i'm testing you and that's not okay like, that's not right. I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't be doing that. That's likely a sin and that's not okay. And then it was either later that afternoon, after I had said that to my husband, I want to say it was the next day though. I'm pretty sure it was the next day. The next day we get a knock on our door and my husband is starting to come around by then. So He's the one who answers the door. And it was a very brief interaction. Very quick. And my husband closes the door. And I was like, well, what was that? And it was our neighbor. And he had, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so emotional. I didn't think I would cry, but he had handed my husband a check and it said, and he said, he said, I don't want to be weird. <laughs> he said, but I just feel really led to give you this. And, and he's like, I don't want to be weird. And he's like, I'm going to go <laughs> like, and that was it. And that, and that check was the exact amount, I mean, tr honestly, like probably a perfect match of what my husband would have made if he had been working that week. And, um, it wasn't, it wasn't the amount that moved me. It wasn't. It, that was so helpful. And it was a beautiful, beautiful blessing and a testimony of how kind the Lord is. But it was more so that God doesn't owe me anything. He doesn't owe you anything. And yet, He loves me. He loved me enough to show me and prove Himself to me. And I guess it's like, I know people like to turn things into things all the time and try to say it was this or it was that. And, but how often do, how often does something like that happen? Like, that's not a normal interaction. That's not, that's not something normal that I'm just like stamping, oh, that was God to it. That's, I don't, I can't understand that. And so now <laughs> my new prayer going forward has been instead of Lord, I, I 
believe help with my unbelief now it's lord help me to hear your voice because clearly the man who came to our door and gave us a check is hearing his voice and following the holy spirit and feeling led to do things and i i just want to a encourage you to follow where you feel led <laughs> because you just never know and also just know that even if you feel like you're searching for him and you can't find him he's still around and he's still listening and he loves you and he's willing to prove himself to you i think just like me and that's really it that was my crazy encounter last week with the lord and i just wanted to share it with you all so I hope that this video blessed you in some way. And if you've ever had anything like this happen, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. And I just really appreciate you all for watching and being here. And um, Lord willing, I will see you at the next video.